Hey everyone, it's Tommy from TechNexus again. Thanks for joining me on today's video. Yesterday we had a little bit of a play around with the component roads portion of InfraWorks and today I'm going to show you uh, how to modify some of these assemblies and make your own custom uh, assemblies for, to, for something that you might use in local conditions. So one way you can do that is click on the component roads icon and then just draw in a small length of road so I'm going to put in let's put in about 30 odd meters there and then I've used the, the two lane uh, assembly in there so if I look at one of the, the PDFs of a, of a local uh, authority here then we've got some urban arterial roads so I'm going to do this first one here which is just four lanes so two lanes either way and then we've got some curbs and then we've got some uh, other values uh, for, the, for the entries adjoining the pavement there. So we do have this two lanes one way, we've got the median and we've got two lanes the other way. So each of those lanes is four meters, uh, four meters plus that, that middle entry there for the median. And so there's a, a value here, six meters line to line desirable minimum for protection of turning vehicles and pedestrians. So we know that we've got four meters, four meters, six, four, four, and then value B. So the border is 7.3 meters to the line. So we, in InfraWorks, we're not gonna, uh, at this point in time, bother about that. So I just wanna put in uh, some curbing and, and those roads. So again, four, four, and six, and four, and four. So if I jump back into InfraWorks, I want to add that median strip so I can select the road and then right click on it and insert a road component and I want the road component to be in the middle okay so that's done a curb so we can also throw a, another curb on here so insert a road component and if I look on the right I've got my curb and gutter Okay, so we've got our outside curb, one lane, and another curb there. So we need to throw another lane in there. So same thing, it's quite easy. Right click, insert a road component. So I can come in here and type in a filter, type in the word lane. And then we just look for a single lane. Put it there next to the curb, okay. And I can stretch this out so it goes the full length and then that way we we get a better idea on, on how that uh, road assembly is going to look so once these are all in there I can go through and adjust each of the individual ones so I know our road width is going to be four meters for each lane so I can change all of those on the fly so if we wanted to start adding that middle uh, median in the middle so same thing, right click, insert a road component. So I want it to be on this side of that curb, but I want us to come over here and look for the sloped grass median. Okay, and stick it on the back of the curb. So again, I can stretch out the grips and we know that that median is six meters wide. And we can also adjust uh, the depth and the slope, but for now I'm just going to leave it leave it to uh, be as is. So then we need to add another lane over here and another two curbs. So same thing, right click, insert a road component, and then look for the curb, curb and gutter. Oh, place that on the edge of the median. Now, you can see what's happened here. InfraWorks has placed that the wrong way around. So we can right click on that and flip it. Okay, so now we've got our middle median plus a curb. So I need to just adjust those grips. And then we will do the same thing, insert a road component. So look for, look for the lane again and stick the lane on the end of the existing lane. And again, just move the grips down. And then we want to add a road component. And again, look for a curb. So curb and gutter.
and then stretch that out there. Okay, now just to make things a little bit more neat, just to have them look neat and tidy, I'm going to do another median and stick it on the back of this curb. And with that document, like it said, 7.3 meters. So again, I might just, uh, well, we might as well just do the full 7.3 meters just to, to make it look prim and proper. And then on the last one, same thing. Stick that on the back of the curb, stretch it out. And then again, make that 7.3 meters. So that way now we have, according to that document, our urban arterial road as um, as a component road inside Infoworks. So I can I can uh, go through and um, adjust it. I can go through and lift it up above the grade if I want. So just to get a better idea on how it's going to look, if I lift it up and then throw a little bit of material on the side there. then that way we can start getting a good idea on what that road's going to look. Now I want to add this, uh, these component assemblies to the catalog itself. So I select the road, I right click on it, and I say add to library. And I work out which cross section, and then in here I type in here urban collector, and I say four lanes. Okay, so now we should have our um, style in there. Okay, so now you can just reuse that uh, over and over again, so that way you don't need to, to constantly redo it as well. So I could do the same for all of these um, urban roads as well and just have, have them as different styles and then even make one for service roads. So it's really just in InfoX terms, uh, the border, the curb, road, curb, median, curb, uh, and then basically do the same for, for both sides. So hopefully that gave you enough insight into building your own uh, road assemblies in InfraWorks. Uh, thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get all the daily no notifications of all of my videos. Uh, thanks for watching. If there are any comments, please uh, write them in the comments below and I'll endeavor to answer them as soon as I can. Uh, but otherwise, I will see you tomorrow for some more InfraWorks and have a look at bridges, uh, watershed, and uh, let's have a look at some uh, exporting of, of movies of our roads at the end of the week. So again, thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow.